It's Matt Pinfield in the morning with Leslie Fram, and as promised, we've got the Bacon Brothers here, Kevin and Michael. It's great to see you guys. Thanks nice for coming out. Thanks for having us. You know, I, I appreciate what you said when we were off mic, uh, Kevin, that you're, you're glad New York has a good station now. Finally, love, this, you know? love it. Love the music. Love the mix of stuff. And uh, love the way it jumps around in different time periods, and it's great. I'd love to hear new stuff here. Yeah, thank you for that. Thank you for, uh, yeah. for listening to us, guys. He, um, ages ago, I was actually over in Tony Bennett and his son's studio over there, Danny right. and the guys, and um, and I was checking out that they were actually mixing your your sound for your DVD at the time, and uh, and it sounded really great, and it was kind of cool. And I and I wanted to ask you about recording there. You actually did your last album there as well, didn't you? Yeah, not the one that's out now, but the one previous, uh, which was called uh, White Knuckled. And what we had, the reason we did it there was uh, because we had done that show at the John Harm Center, which is across the street from uh, Ben Studios, and uh, it, you know, I think that it sounded the best of anything we'd done, and we really wanted to get kind of a live sound uh, with, 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 with the CD, so that's exactly what we did. We played everything live and just kind of looked at each other and sort of did it old school. Now, this recent one, we went back to a completely different kind of format, but um, in some ways, I think it also sounds kind of live. And you went and did this in Hoboken, right, at Word or Word, Music, part of it well, there, we just part did, of we LA? Just, actually, we, the only thing we did in Hoboken was we overdubbed uh, keyboards. And in this last CD, New Year's Day, we were actually only in the same room together for two days. We worked on it for about six months, so everybody was working in their home studios. So we did background vocals together one day, and we did the, the keys at, in, in Hoboken, that was it. And the new album is New Year's Day. That was just because, I mean, I know that you, Kevin, you, you live both in New York and on the West Coast as well, right? Uh, no, I just live in New York. You just live in New York? Uh, I, mean, we sp I spend time out there, and my wife does a TV show. I mean, she's out there six months of the year, so I end up spending time there, but we don't, we don't have a house or anything. We just uh, stay in rented houses, hotels. Is that why you guys record separately when you do that? Because of your, you know, working on different things? We sort of did it as more of as a concept. Um, you know, the one that we did at Dave's Bennett Studio, we, we did every, sang all the vocals live, basically did the record live. Um, and this time we decided we were going to farm out the production responsibilities to the guys in the band. Uh, so in that way, since we all have our home studios, we, you know, it's just an easier way to work. And it was kind of an experiment. Um, when we first started, I thought we're, we're going to do this, work on it for three or four months, and then we may throw the whole thing out and say this is a really stupid way to record, and we're going to go back to doing it live. But we really like the way it turned out. So, um, and you know, maybe the next one we'll do differently. So it's you know, I think it's always interesting to you know to try different things in the recording studio. Now, in the studio with us right now, Kevin Bacon, Michael Bacon of Bacon Brothers. New CD is called New Year's Day. Now, you guys have been playing together for since you were kids, really. It's yeah. about about you know, fourteen years as a band. And the album cover is great. It's a picture of you guys as kids in the 70s. Kevin, where'd you find this picture? Is this stuff that you had your, your mom and dad had? Or? You know, uh, I have a whole bunch of pictures that I just scan and, you know, keep them on my computer. And uh, yeah, I just, I, I was looking at it and I thought, well, this is kind of an interesting moment that was captured. A uh, little known fact is that my sister was actually in the picture and I cut her out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, she hasn't spoken to us. Yet. Yeah, <laughs> she's spoken yeah, about it. You know she's like, come on, get that crop feature on the on yeah the, on the high photo while she got cropped. Yeah, <laughs> in Philadelphia, you guys grew up right in the heart right of Philadelphia. Right there, yeah. So I mean, and you and you both being you know in, in love with music, what kind of stuff were you listening to growing up? What kind of same things did you both love? Well, it's, it's a great music town, just you know because you know the, the you know it's an old rock and roll town. You know, with Frankie Avalon and all those kinds of people, and then Gamble and Huff came in. I was going to say the Philly International stuff, great, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a huge jazz town, um, uh, great R&B town. When I went to high school, uh, the kids there did not listen to any English music at all. They were strictly Miracles and Temptations. I mean, it just was a big R&B town. So DAS was a, was a really kind of a flagship station for us, and WIBG was really one of the first top the radio stations. Yeah. Michael, Michael, were you turning Kevin on to stuff early on? Yeah, I, um, our father was, uh, did a lot of traveling all around the world, and he came back uh, one, one year from England and, and had spent some time with some kids over there, and, and they had given him this 45 of the Rolling Stones, which was the hottest new thing in Britain, and of course nobody over here had ever heard it. And um, he, he gave it to me, and that kind of changed my life in a way, you know, that, um, because... You know, the Beatles were just coming out, and the Beatles were, they were so amazing singers and everything about them. The Rolling Stones were sloppy and out of tune and out of rhythm, so I really identify with them much much more strongly. And so I became really into the British Invasion stuff, and I, and I, uh, I think I turned Kevin on to a lot of those kinds of things.
And what stone single was that? Was it not fade away, uh, or was it a later thing? Um, I think it was. You better move on. Oh, you better move on. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think that's what it was. It was it was a, uh, you know, it wasn't one of their big songs or anything. And it was real early as well. Yeah, really that's early. great. Yeah. yeah. What do you remember? What was some of the things, Kevin, that he was turning you on to? Some of the first uh, music you gravitated to. Well, know? yeah, definitely, definitely the Stones. And uh, I remember when he brought me um, uh, the, the uh, Janis Joplin record. Big Brother and, and the Holy Company. Yeah, Big Brother and the Holy Company, which was which was uh, amazing because it was a great record, loved it. And then for a kid, I was probably about eight or something, it was this great cartoon also with, you know, it was Yeah, the Crumb cartoon on the cover. Yeah, so there were like, you know, you could see, you know, nipples with the shirts and stuff like that. So I, it was a double, it was a double hit of rock and, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. A nice, a, a nice looking cartoon. Exactly. It was, it was a thing that, you know, <laughs> you couldn't let your parents uh, necessarily see. Now, you're going to do a song for us from your new album, mm -hmm. uh, which is called Children. Tell me about this song, and Kevin, you wrote this one. Uh, this is a song that um, sort of about uh, uh, the idea of using God as an excuse to go to war, um, something that uh, seems to happen again and again and again. I mean, I hope someday we'll be able to play this song as a sort of trite piece of history that no longer exists, but doesn't seem to be happening in, in the short term. It's called Children. Okay, here we go. Live in the studio, it's the Bacon Brothers at 101.9 RXP. Yeah. 